Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I have another walkthrough for you guys. I thought I did this walkthrough for some reason, but it turns out no, I was just mixing up my memories of me doing a walkthrough of uh, the other version of this deck here. Now, before I get into this deck, well, no, I'm going to say it while I go through here. Uh, actually, <laughs> I just realized I need to actually put this in order. So actually, let me just pause here, cut and do whatever through editing magic. I just pause uh, and I will get back to you like real quick. Okay, oh, sorry for the ghibliness of the camera, uh, but <laughs> uh, this attaining this deck here has been an, advent has been an adventure. <laughs> um, so first off, when I first ordered it, um, what I got was the box, but in the box was not this deck, but uh, another deck that I had that, that, that well, <laughs> another deck that I had, uh, another deck, the other version of the Minkiati, uh, which is just simply called the Minkiati uh, Fiorentine. Meanwhile, what I wanted was the Etruria because the Etruria had uh, much cleaner colors, the line work was much more refined and much more uh, detailed, uh, and the colors were much more cleaner. It, it, I, I wanted that one. <laughs> um, but instead what I got was the other version, which is which honestly looks older because of how simple the line work was and how messy the colors were. Um, but the, but so yeah, so the Minkiati uh, Fiorentine, not the Etruria, was in this box. And so I messaged uh, Christina Dorsini, I emailed her and I have yet to hear an email from her. <laughs> I have yet to get one. Um, so you know just gonna leave that there and so uh when i showed when i did an unboxing of all of my marseille of my marseille deck haul uh what i uh, uh, i i said that and then someone here on youtube sacred space japan i believe is what her name is uh she messaged me and said uh, she commented on my videos and said hey uh you know uh contacting christina dorsini will take a really really long time for her to get back to you uh so you know i recommend uh uh, going to uh, messaging the Collectera where I bought it from. Actually, I think I'm going to re mm, I'm not sure. Let me try and zoom in on this. There we go. There we go. Sorry for the awkward wibbliness. But again, what we must do for the views. <laughs> for the views. For the good lighting. Sorry for the glare. Let me just move that a little bit. Try and adjust that just a little bit. There we go. Okay, so, uh, message her, I have yet to hear from them, and so, yeah, sorry for that glare, I'm trying to fix it, but it just seems to not want to work with me. Oh well, I don't know why it's not focusing on my hand. Hmm, weird, but I hope you guys can see this, but anyways, uh, so I must collect tarot, and they're like, okay, we'll, we'll get it, we'll get it right to you, uh, he messaged them for a replacement, they just sent the deck and not a box. So he's like, I'm going to try and get you a box so that when it's shipped, it's shipped over safely, I assume. Uh, and so let's just start flipping through while I ramble about this story. <laughs> uh, and this happened, this all started back in November and I only got my deck, this deck in, uh, when was it? Sometime in uh, December or January, I want to say. Um, so yeah, so in the end, he just sent that deck that they sent him, that just the plain deck without the box. And so I sent back the other version that I have a walkthrough of if you want to see uh, the, what, what that version is. So yeah, um, and you don't really have, and so, well, <laughs> I was going to say, you don't really have to worry about getting confused about them, but uh, you know, because, uh, well, I'm going to explain this right now. Um, so uh where do I start? How do I how do I go through this? How how do I how do I explain this? Um, so what happened was is that uh, he ordered a batch of Minkiati Etruria's, um, and it turns out that they were all like how my box came in with the wrong deck inside of them. Uh, so yeah, it's not like he ordered like twenty and they were all like that. No, so I, I think he only ordered like f batches of five. I want to say I could be wrong. Um, so, so yeah, uh, but, uh, 
where was I? Oh, man, I'm, I'm, I'm losing focus here because I'm looking at these cards and they're so beautiful. <laughs> uh, so yeah, sorry for, for having my ugly ass thumb in there, you know, I'm just trying to hold this up like this, you know, I'm trying to show you the cards at a, in a good view because these cards are really small, so I can't really have the, have the camera pulled back and, you know, and, you know, with the lighting angle, you know, I have to figure this out. I'll have to readjust some things for my lighting. But anyways, um, so if you want to see like what the, the difference between the Arturia and the other version, then, you know, then totally go check out a video. I, I have a video up, uh, in my, in my, in my subscriptions or something, <laughs> in my subscriptions, in my video list, uh, if you, if you look at it, I, I hope, you know. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, hopefully that'll clear up some confusion. My gosh, my mind is like all over the place because I'm trying to explain the story, my struggles, you know, but yeah. Um, uh, but anyways, uh, what I was going to say was that it's, uh, that Los Carabello, if you have a Los Carabello deck that is a Minkiati, you know, that came in like a really big box and with a big book, it's this version here. Uh, and you, if you have, oh, oh. And it's because, like, I posted on the Four Love of Cards page that uh, Los Carabello is reprinting their Minkiati, uh, Etruria, and so it's going to be in the box much like, uh, hold on. Okay, well, it's not going to be the same size, but it's going to be roughly the same design, and that's of the Metelli that I have here. You know, the lid opens up like that. It's a nice sturdy box really well designed and so and that's going to come out in September and so if so Los Carabello so far it's only been reprinting this version and I've actually seen uh, another version uh, there's quite a few out there uh, but uh, of like older versions there's one with like a with like all the cards that like have like a black background <sighs> what is my dog talking at? hold on I have to make sure no one's breaking into my house oh my gosh this video is a mess <laughs> <laughs> but anyways, um, so, so yeah, uh, if you have a Los Carabello deck, don't, don't worry about it, but, uh, so far, the only ones that are printing Minkiati decks like this are Los Carabello, uh, and Il Menegello, which is the version that I have, uh, so, so yeah, <laughs> uh, I don't know what else to say about it, uh. To this, I have yet to hear a reply from, from my email <laughs> explaining my struggle. Uh, and so, yeah, I'm trying to think of what else. I feel like I'm forgetting something else. But, yeah. Uh, you know, but again, really excited for Los Carabello to release this deck because it is, you know, a really highly sought after deck. Uh, this is one of the things, one of the big uh, di uh, differences between some of the cards uh, between this version and the alternate version. Uh, the one that I didn't like. Uh, was this stamp right here? Uh, that's not in the other version, and the, of course, of you know, like the, I, the art style. And I also want to say, uh, like I think the last few Zodiac cards have red backgrounds. Like the lion, this card here would had a had a red background, uh, along with the bull. Uh, and these two, I believe, I want to say, I want to say this one. All of, like so far, all of these next few ones had red backgrounds. Uh, probably to indicate something with the gameplay, you know. So, yeah. So, yeah. It's also strange that these last few ones weren't numbered. So, you know, kind of... We're going to leave that there. Anyways. Uh, so, yeah. Let's go into the, into the suits. We have the Ace of Wands. And the I like the little, little tiny animals here. Incorporated. Let me see if I can focus on the. Sorry for the wibbliness. It's just every time I touch my phone, my setup wants to wibble. So yeah, here we go. Here we go. So yeah, very. Of course, you know, the miners. You know, there's nothing to go on about with them, uh, except when there's like the random animal thrown in there. Uh, but with the wands, I don't think there was really that many, except for like the first few. Um, have the courts. The courts are very interesting with this deck. Uh, all the knights are like centaur type creep type uh, people, where this one has like a horse body. There's one that has like a weird dragon like body, and you'll see right now what, what I mean. I think it's in the in the coins, you know, in the cup seat for the sword. I don't know. The king. Moving on to the ace of cups. 
beautiful these cups. Twos. What I also like is that the cups, all the cups look very different between uh, each one of them. So yeah, they're all different, like slightly different designs. I like seeing that. These are very, very similar right here, but you know, if you look, you'll see those differences. Not too drastic, like in the Metelli. Uh, but yeah. That is beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. And then the, the positioning of the tens as well, with those three, two, three, two. Never really seen that in any other deck. It has a page, and I also like how the how the how the, for the feminine suits the pages are uh, are female. Oh yeah, it's the cup suit with this weird dragon-like uh, centaur person. What would this be? Who would he be? Yeah, I, I, like what would that be considered? Because centaurs half horse, half man, but you know, I don't know. So there really isn't any other one, you know. Like two of swords. Very interesting how the elf is here. Might have might be related somehow to uh, the hermit because there's a there was a deer in that part too. We have three of swords with Remus and Romulus, I believe is what they say now. The unicorn with the four of swords. And there's this creature here, like a little monkey demon thing. I don't know what that is. The fox in the hen house. I just love that. Is that a cat? No, it looks like a weasel. I hope I hope it's a weasel. We have a hedgehog. Uh, in the in the other version, it looks more like a porcupine, uh, but here it looks more like a hedgehog. And we have like I think that's a fawn or a satyr. I, mean, I don't know what that is. A mirror, circle, or something. I don't know. I don't know. I have a ring. Yeah. So yeah. Got the page. We have the knight again. That's traditional centaur again. I'm going to go into the coins, and I love the, the Knight of Coins in this one. It reminds me of the Alchemical Tarot, uh, because I'm going to see why in a little bit. So yeah. Uh, but yeah, I, I, uh, the cards are going to be bigger in the Los Carabello version. I think I mentioned that. <laughs> I'm not sure, but if I did, here it is. Uh, it, I, I read somewhere 3 by 5 inches, um, so, you know, I'm not sure. Uh, I need to check my the measurements on the other decks to see what that is, but I think that's closer to a traditional tarot. Uh, maybe like a little bit larger. And here we have the knight, which is, which is like a lion here. Um, which you might feel like the king of coins, with the lion as the coin. Uh, as, the, as the coin suit king. <laughs> here we have the queen. Then we have the king. And there you have it. Uh, another dead giveaway uh, of as to what version you have is the backs. Just honestly, the, the first things first is the Etruria. It says Etruria right here, and it has this design like this. Uh, then it's uh, it's the Etruria version that you have. The other version, uh, honestly, I've only seen it that that version. That I don't like with the red uh, backs on some of the cards uh, and the um, and the really like messy coloring. That's only been available through Los Carabello. Uh, and honestly, if, if you want to see which difference is, it is, because they, for some reason, they put the same card uh, on a deck that's already been confused and mismatched. So that probably might have uh, helped as to why they got confused uh, with their with their packaging. Um, but uh, the, a dead giveaway is right here. Uh, the book has the number nine, and the other version, the nine is like right here. I want to say. Also, the donkey's head is much darker. Again, the colors you'll see are very like messy and splotchy and going all over the place. I want to say his outfit's a different color. I can't remember what else, but in general, like you know, because uh, on Collect Tarot they have they do have pictures of them and it shows the front of them, but you know it's really hard to see the details. But the most obvious is the number nine being here and the number nine being up here somewhere. So yeah, that's one of the things to look out for. But yeah, but again, uh, if you're in America, uh, to be safe, rather to be safe than sorry, an order from Collect Tarot. Uh, and so if you have an issue with uh, whether missing or damaged cards, you can email uh, them and they will get in contact with El Manigello much quicker than, you know, I have been able to. Uh, so yeah, <laughs> you know, if you're in the US. Uh, I'm not sure how tar Tarot BG would work. You know, I ordered the Tarot Conio Clásico uh, a little recently, so I don't know how to, I don't know. But so far it's on its way to me, and so, 
yeah, I'm trying to think of what, what else. I feel like there's something I'm forgetting, but I think that's it. <laughs> I hope you got, I hope you all enjoyed, and I will see you all later. Bye.